Hello and welcome. My name is Christina from EmpoweredCreator.com. I am a mindset and conscious manifesting teacher and coach, and this is my YouTube channel. Here I talk about all things law of assumption, mindset, conscious manifesting, the quantum universe, and a lot more. And my goal is to simplify everything for you guys. So if you like this content and you would like to see more of it, I would love it if you would subscribe to this channel, comment on this video, like it, share it, and just stick around. I would also like to let you guys know that I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching, email coaching, small group coaching, as well as custom subliminals for whatever needs you may have or whatever you may need help with. So if you're interested in any of those services, just click on the links below in the description box and they're going to take you to my website. And with all that being said, let's dive into today's video. So today I would like to talk about inner conversations and how we can use them to create a different version of our specific person in case that's what we want to do. So first of all, what are inner conversations? Inner conversations is simply our inner speech. Whatever thoughts run into our head about other people, when we talk in our head with other people, uh, when we talk to ourselves about someone else, or when we talk to someone else in our head about someone else, it can take many forms. But the gist is we all have these inner conversations with ourselves all day long, and they're actually the essence of our mental diet. Inner conversations can really make our reality. They really do make our reality because it's our whole inner speech and our whole mental diet that actually determines what we get to experience in our 3D reality. So if we're having mental conversations, either with ourselves or with other people in imagination that are full of anger, full of resentment or stress or anxiety or worry or victimhood or I don't know what, we are bound to experience that in our 3D reality and other people are going to reflect that back to us. And how is that relevant with our specific person? It's very relevant because the inner conversations we have in our head with our specific person or about our specific person are very much going to determine how our specific person is going to show up in our 3D reality. They are going to reflect our dominant assumptions, our dominant inner conversations, and just our dominant thoughts and feelings and energy about them. It's just how it is. It's just how the law works. And so our inner conversations are super, super important. Neville himself said, watch your inner conversations, observe them, be aware of them, because other people always echo back to us what we whisper to them in secret. I've always found that very profound. And I think it's a big, big, big truth when manifesting anything. So if we are in a stage where we want to manifest our specific person to be a different version of themselves, if we want to draw a different version of them from the 4D reality into the 3D reality, we really, really, really have to watch our inner conversations and our mental diet about them. Now, I thought I would make today's video more practical, and I hope this helped you guys get a better idea of what kind of mental conversations, what kind of inner conversations you can have with your specific person um, to actually bring about the reality that you want, the, the version of your specific person that you want to experience, that ideal version that already exists, it's already been created, it's already there, and waiting for you to channel it and bring it into the 3D reality. So what I've done is I've chosen three very common scenarios that are very, very, very common among people manifesting different versions of their specific people. And I'm going to give specific practical examples of what kind of inner dialogues you can have with them, your specific person, or about them in your head, in your imagination, um, so that you can actually start bringing forward their ideal version, their version that you prefer, their version that you are working and hoping to see in your 3D reality. And there are, of course, many scenarios. Each one of us has their own journey. Each one has their own story. But these tend to be very common. They tend to be very common complaints of people. Um, so I thought I'd just go with these three. And I'm sure you can just get the idea and then you can adjust it to whatever your particular personal scenario is in your relationship, um, in your situation with your SP. 
So the first scenario would be a scenario where maybe you're separated with your specific person, perhaps you're even in no contact. And of course, in that case, you're manifesting them to come back into your life. You're manifesting a version of them that loves you, wants you, wants to be back together with you, adores you, cherishes you, chooses you, um, wants to work on your relationship, wants um, a happy, fulfilling, committed relationship with you, um, and just cannot live without you and, and has come back into your life and is the version that you want a committed, loving uh, person that's, that's all in with you. So what kind of inner conversations could we have in this case? Now, let me just say before I start that this is just examples. Um, you make your inner conversations feel natural to you, to your situation, to your case, to how you speak to yourself mentally, because that's the most important thing. You don't have to take these examples. Don't feel like you have to use these exact examples. These are just to give you a good idea of what you can say in your head, how you can modify your mental diet so that you can get another version of your specific person. You can get them reflect that back to you. The change is first internal. So with that being said, Let's see, in a situation where you are separated with your specific person, perhaps there's no contact. Um, maybe you could hear them say in your head and you don't have to literally hear their voice. If you do, great. If you don't, that's fine. Just mentally imagine them telling you things like, I love you so much. I am so happy that we got back together. I missed you so much. This whole time that we were apart, I was thinking about you. I couldn't stop thinking about you. I was, I couldn't get you out of my head. And I realized how important it was for me to be with you, how much I wanted to be with you, how much I love you, how much you mean to me, how much our relationship means to me, and how willing I am to work on this relationship and make you happy. I love the connection that we share. I love that you are my person. I love that you are my girlfriend or my boyfriend. I love that I'm your man or your woman. I love that I'm back in your life. I love that we're back together. I'm so, so happy. I haven't felt happier in a long time. And I'm just so committed to this relationship, to making it work. And I get you, I feel you, I want you, I understand you, I'm here for you. I'm just here for the long run. That's just one example. Like I said, you can insert any sort of conversations, affirmations, anything that you want into your inner conversations, as long as they align with your goal, with that specific version that you want to see in your specific person. Now, you can also respond to these inner conversations in your head. Uh, perhaps thank them for loving you so much. Maybe you can say something like, um, I'm so happy that you're back into my life. Um, I'm so happy that you realize that this relationship was so worth it, so worth working for and fighting for. Thank you for standing up for us. Thank you for choosing me. I love that you are so committed to us. You are so committed to making things work. I love that you're such an amazing boyfriend or girlfriend. I couldn't be happier. You make me so happy. I am just thrilled that we get to share this connection and this relationship and that we're back together and I love daily life with you. I love doing every day with you. I love um, sharing all these experiences with you. I love sharing my life with you. I love um, thinking about the future with you. I love making plans with you. Things like that. Again, make it natural. Make it align with what you actually want what version of reality you want to experience and just insert your own things, make your own inner conversations. This so, second very common scenario is where you may be with your SP right now, but maybe they're not communicating their feelings very much, or maybe they're not, they're very closed off. Maybe they're a bit emotionally unavailable. Maybe they're not letting you in very much and you just want them to be more open, more expressive, more loving towards you, um, show you how they feel about you in words and in actions. 
Um, so in that case, perhaps your inner conversations could go something like this. You hear your specific person tell you, I love you so much. I am always here for you. I am always available for you. You know, I am your person. You know, I'm here to take care of you. You know, I'm here to love you and adore you and always show you my best self. You know, I really, really care about you. You know, I, I care deeply about you. You know how much I love spending time with you. You know how much I love making plans with you. You know how much I treasure the time that we spend together. You know that you're the best person for me, that I haven't found anyone better than you, that I love being in this relationship with you. I love thinking about the future with you. I love doing things with you and sharing things with you and sharing experiences with you. And I love spoiling you. I love pampering you. It can be anything along those lines or anything like anything that you want, really. Anything that aligns with the story that you want to see play out in your 3D reality. Anything that um, is in line with what you want to see and experience and what version of theirs you want to see and experience. And perhaps in that scenario, you could reply and say things like, I love that you're so expressive. I love that you're so attentive to me and that you're so loving and so caring and so giving. I love that you tell me that you love me every single day. I love that you are um, wishing me good morning and good night with texts every day. I love that you buy me presents. I love that you make plans with me. I love that you choose to spend your time with me. I love all the things that we share. I am so, so happy to have you in my life. You are the best boyfriend or girlfriend that I've ever had. You are the best relationship I've ever had in my life. I've never felt more stable. I've never felt more loved, more chosen, more cherished. And I so much thank you for that because I feel like we're so compatible and it's just wonderful to have you in my life. You're such a blessing for me. Again, just an example of things you could say. Just let your imagination run wild. That's exactly what I'm doing right now. I'm basically improvising. Um, so yeah, just let your imagination run wild and just recreate in your head your SP as the version that you want and just saturate yourself in it. Saturate your mind in it. Just feel it. Just feel that they are already that person. Okay? And now the third scenario that's also very common is where maybe you are already with your SP, but they're not taking their relationship to the next level, or perhaps you're just friends with benefits and you want them to commit to you. Whatever it is, you can start recreating um, a different version of them and bringing it forward in your 3D reality by having a mental diet and saying things in your head and having the mental conversations in your head. Um, like, for example, um, they would tell you, I want to commit to you. I want to do life with you. I would love to share my life with you. I can't see myself sharing my life with anyone else but you. You're the only one that I see, the only one that I want. I only have eyes for you. I only want you. You are the only person that makes me so happy, that makes me so fulfilled the only person that I'm so compatible with. You are the person I want to spend my life with. You are the person that I see by my side as I grow old. You are the person I want to be in a stable, long-term relationship with. And I just want to be with you. I want to take care of you. I want to love you. I want to make you happy every day. I want to see your smile every day. I want to wake up next to you every day. And you just make me so happy. You make me want to commit my life to you. And you could say things like, I love how committed you are to me. I'm so happy that we have this wonderful committed relationship. I love all the things that we share together. I love that we're making plans for the future. I love that we're planning our life together. I love that we're so compatible, that we are so aligned in our future goals and what we want from life. You are the boyfriend or girlfriend 
that I always dreamed of. I love that I'm the same to you. I am so happy that we get along so well, that we're so happy together, that our daily life is so wonderful. And I'm just, I just feel so stable. I feel so chosen, cherished, loved, wanted, desired, and so on. So again, these are just examples. I'm going to stress it one more time that you need to make it feel natural to you, to your situation, to the version of your specific person that you want to see in your 3D reality, but just play with it. Just do and say and think and feel whatever makes you feel good and just get lost in that feeling. Just get lost in imagination saturate yourself, saturate your mind and make it feel natural and do that however many times you want. You can do it all day long if you want. You can do it a few times a day. You can do it once a day. Whatever feels natural, whatever feels best, just do what feels good to you. And I promise you, if that's what you make your dominant reality in your mind and your dominant inner conversations, that's what you're going to see in your specific person sooner or later. Just watch your inner conversations, watch your mental diet with them, and you will see them change. Now, I just want to clarify one more thing before I wrap this video up, that the change first starts with you internally. You start seeing them as that new version. It starts to feel natural to you. You start knowing that they can be that person. You start feeling that they already are that person. And that's when they start reflecting it to you. With all this said, I'm going to wrap up this video here. I intend that this has helped you in some way. I very much appreciate you guys watching this channel and this content. I love having you here. I love making this content for you. And I look forward to seeing you at the next video. Until then, bye-bye.